All right, guys, welcome back to another Detroit Becoming Human. Uh, last episode, we finished playing as Kara. These are the stats, uh, which is exactly the same from the episode number one. So we're going to continue. Oh, he comes from a good household. Oh my god, door opens itself and everything. No one's home. Hmm. Why is the skeleton in the background yellow? <clears throat> Why is that yellow? I don't get that. Retrieve order number, okay. So we're basically done. Wait, are you telling me this is Marcus's house? Or is Carl the owner? That's another good question. Can these... Oh, he's an artist. Can these guys actually own their own homes? That's a good question. Life found on Titan. Interesting. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not going to read this. I'm just kind of going through it. So that is caught on camera. And then, oopsie. And then everybody else can kind of just pause and read as they want to. The North Pole, why Russia wants it. Why does Russia want the North Pole? Quite interesting. Screen line cost? Wait, that's a screen? I guess it is. Interesting. Alrighty, let's see. So we have... What the hell? Nice ass giraffe, dude. A lot of good shit to look at in this house, not gonna lie. Uh, play piano. <clears throat> something else I'm missing, yeah. Is it this screen? I can do something on this screen? Oh, and I got trolled. It's the magazine. Never mind. Whoa. What the... Uh, what is all this shit? <laughs> what is that robotic arm right there? I've actually seen those in warehouses before. Uh, it's encased with glass. See me? I'm a good android. I clean. Now everything this looks so effing dandy that you can never get mad at me. Alright, so we came in through. Can we go up the stairs perhaps? Uh, dude. 
this staircase is very, very poorly designed. Holy crap. Oh, what is this? <clears throat> the birds are fake. Oh, it's robotic birds. That is so dumb. Holy crap, dude. Your birds just... Wow. I don't honestly even know what to say about that. Wait a second. Huh. That was the room I was just in. Interesting. Oopsie. Nice kitchen, bro. Nothing else to do yet, though. saying take care of Carl but who the hell is Carl and where the hell is he you know so why is his house like so nice <clears throat> I want to do what Carl does for a living oh Carl must be a very old man spring bucks and uh, bones of fish interesting all right, Carl, where are you, bruh? I have no idea where Carl is. Hello, sir. Mm, yeah, there's nothing up here to do. Figured. It's through this way. The curtains is got ah, Carl's in bed. Found you, Carl. Coral. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh. Medicine oh, is yes, medicine. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Well. <clears throat> Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. All right, then. Let's go, Coral. Oh. <clears throat> Let's lift Coral up. Oh, Carl, you're so heavy, dude.
in case Carl doesn't walk. Probably paralyzed. Oh, I don't actually have to spam it, I just kind of have to hold them down. Oh, you got dressed and everything, look at that. Take Carl Anything to dining special table. special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. believe it was this way through. Oh shit, Carl, you can't fit through there, can you? I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. On the other hand, last night, the American ambassador again informed an emergency meeting of the UN. Find something to do. The would not accept this annexation under any circumstances. Several American destroyers are recorded to be headed for the Barents Sea. Governor Cornwall, chairman of the UN, announced in a press conference that we have never been so close to a third world. Fancy game of chess. Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Ah, oh, shit. I came through too quickly. That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. Well, I know you don't like losing, and you don't like when I let you win, so I felt I didn't have many choices. True. We humans are complicated. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. <clears throat> Why would an android grind? It makes sense why all of his doors open like that, because he's in a wheelchair. Holy shit. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. <clears throat> As you wish, sire. How the hell do I do that? Oh, right there.
interesting system he's got going on you're not gonna lie good thing he's not afraid of heights your verdict Marcus it sucks I'm just kidding it's not bad yes there is something about it mm. something I can't quite define I guess I like it the truth is I have nothing left to say anymore each day that goes by brings me closer to the end I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes Carl but enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> I feel like you set me up, old man. I should be a genius at painting, too. Genius at chess and painting. Uh, find a subject to paint. How in the fuck would I do that? Just paint a statue? Paint a desk? Paint Carl's painting? I don't want to do that. Let's paint this. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. I wanted prisoners. really good who the fuck is this guy hey dad oh Leo I didn't hear you come in no, I was in the neighborhood I thought I'd stop by it's been a while right you all right you don't look so good oh yeah yeah I'm fine <laughs> hey listen uh I need some cash, Dad. Again? 
What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Carl sounds like Sylvester Stallone. Oh boy. That was a rough one. Oh man. I really wish I would have chose Prisoner. I chose Doubts and he drew himself, so that's kind of weird. Uh, <clears throat> dropped off the package, woke up Carl, served him breakfast. Carl's. Carl noticed Marcus' clothing, activated birds, read the newspaper, read the Titan. <clears throat> Found something to do. I played chess. I don't know what the other two was. I thought I could do them all, but I guess not. I chose to win. I guess the other two would have taken those. Okay. I uh, take Carl to his studio. Print something. You see a copy of a statue. Which then led to painting from the heart, which I don't have. Which then led to identity... And doubts. And then Leon comes in like a fucking bat out of hell. <clears throat> it's kind of crazy to me because, I mean, these... I don't know. These androids don't have any... Any rights. And they don't have any rights to defend themselves either by the looks of things. Because Marcus... Seems to like to get in a lot of trouble. But, <clears throat> anyway. We're going to wrap it up here and call it an episode. I think we'll do, every time we get to the screen, we'll kind of just call it. Um, but, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.